Well, you're certainly doing your job today, Mr. Sun. Oh, rats. So what's the best month of the year to come to Vegas, to move to Vegas? I'm going to go over that right now, today, in this video. So let's get at it. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Hey everybody, I am Steven and I am not leaving Las Vegas, a full-time Vegas resident transplanted from a, a town called Calgary, Canada, but I've been here for a while. So, this is my YouTube channel. If you like videos about Vegas, I need you to click the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that little bell so you know when I do brand new videos. And by the way, hitting like and just commenting, even if you're not subscribed, that helps channels like this get more exposure. Okay, so the question of the day is simple enough, right? What is the best time of the year to visit and to move to Vegas. So right now it's June 2nd. I'm uh, right by the Caesars Palace over here and I'm uh, walking to work because I can. Now it's gonna be hot today. And it's all about the heat if you're gonna move to this town. You may have limited options so you might not have a chance to move here when I tell you to. But if you move to Vegas, if you did, I want you to share your experience in the comments below. It'll help other people out who are trying to make that big transition. Okay, so Vegas is all about the heat. And we kind of have two seasons in Vegas. I'm gonna recount a quick story here. When I first moved here in 2004 from Canada, it was back in 2004. It was that time when, you know, you had one internet connection in a bedroom with a big beige box called a computer. Remember those? So I was always in the bedroom looking at the internet. My wife, newlywed wife said, what are you doing on the internet so much? I said, I'm checking the weather, and she said, honey, we have two seasons in Vegas. Really, 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 really hot, and it might rain sometimes, and not so hot, and it might be a little rainy and some wind. And that's the truth of the matter. So, <clears throat> in terms of average temperatures, we just got done with May. Let's start off with January. Is January a good time to move to Vegas? Probably yes. <laughs> now, January is a downtime for tourism. Everybody's just done their Christmas thing. They're getting their credit card statements in the mail, that kind of stuff. And not a lot of tourists coming in. The city's a little more relaxed and chill. If you come here to vacation, you have the town to yourself, aside from a bunch of big shows and conventions that come through. And if you're moving here, you have the town to yourself to explore because of the big conventions that come in, like Consumer Electronics Show. Average temperatures in January, and I'm not going off of anything like official, it's gonna be warm, not cold. We might get below freezing once in a while in the evening times, uh, but you're gonna be looking at temperatures maybe, you know, in the 50s, in the 60s. Now, the National Weather Service historical data will tell you that it's a lot uh, warmer than that. I don't buy it. I've never seen it super warm, like 65 to 70s in January, not really. February gets a little bit warmer. March, very nice month to come and visit. Um, April, that's when it starts to get some more tourists here. Spring break starts happening. March Madness has just passed us for the NCAA basketball tournament. And then we get into May. So May is a good time to actually come and visit and transition yourself into Vegas too. But if you're coming in May, it depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from places where it might be 75 to 80 degrees, now you're jumping into 100 uh, degree temperatures every single day, it might be tough for you. So you might consider coming in a few months earlier because coming to Vegas and moving here is about transitioning into the heat. It's kind of like, I don't think it's true. I think it's a myth, but they say, if you're going to cook a frog, you have to put him into cold water, turn on the heater, or else the frog just jumps out, right? That's kind of how you have to tackle a move to Las Vegas. You should always be coming to Vegas when it's not too hot, so you can kind of get eased into those temperatures. And if you're a tourist coming here, the times you should never come here are simple. I would not come here in August or July. That's just me. The hottest temperatures we've ever experienced here in Vegas were 117 degrees. This happened in Julys and Augusts, and it gets hot. And what happens is it gets progressively worse throughout the course of the day, of the, of the week. When you get into a hot spell, the buildings all around me on the strip here and everything else kind of gets hot and it doesn't really cool down. So if it's 115 today with a low of 85, four or five days into that hot spell, it's now 115 degrees with a low of 90. And then when the heat breaks, it's a wonderful thing because you walk out of your um, house one morning at seven in the morning and you'll think it's cold. 
it's not cold. It's actually like 80 degrees, which is the high temperature in a lot of cases, uh, depending on where you're coming from for the day. But it feels a lot colder than it is. But July, August can be tough, especially if you're going to move here. Moving is a stressful situation, you know? It's one of the most stressful things that you can do aside from losing a family member, going through divorce, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, so it can be stressful to move. So stacking heat stress on top of the move, that can be kind of a shock for people too. Um, so if you're coming to Vegas, those are a few important things for you to consider. Don't come here and expect it to be um, anything but super hot for July, August. Don't come here and expect you to wear shorts in January and February. It's just not going to happen. If I was going to move here, I would probably move in March or April. You'll have beautiful weather and temperatures with a little bit of wind here and there because it gets windy in the desert in the, in the springtime. But you'll be able to reap the benefits of coming to a city like Las Vegas, enjoying the outdoor scenery around you, and not having to worry about cooking to death during your move. In terms of vacationing just for a little while, that can be tough too. So come in March, come in September, come in April, come when it's a little bit cooler out there so you don't have to worry about cooking yourself to death on your vacation. If you like Vegas videos, make sure you click on the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you know when I do new videos, like the video, I would really appreciate all that. My name's Steven and I am not leaving Las Vegas. You're a local Las Vegan who is uh, helping you come to Vegas and make the most out of it. So, uh, if you want to join, be a local Las Vegan yourself, honorary, click the subscribe button and we'll see you in another video some other time. I do several a week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.